there are some guys that do the Giro d'Italia and the Tour de France, there are other guys that just do the Tour de France, but anybody that is here at the Giro is a top, top international cyclist. Welcome, but this is just uh, way beyond what I thought, so thanks again. Well, I think we've built up our credibility over the last number of years with the MTV, uh, with the Irish Open being the first ever sellout event for the European Tour. All the events we had last year from the G8 to the UK Celtic Culture to the World Place of Fire Games. I think this, again, is another step up on the ladder. And I think it will really reinforce Northern Ireland's credibility to go for even bigger events in the future. proud of the way that Northern Ireland Tourist Board have put together this whole thing, this whole package, you know, and I'm extremely proud of the way the Irish people have kind of embraced this whole event. Yeah, the fellows we were proud when they say to me, look, we have been uh, in many countries around the world. This is the best organisation that we've had to, to work with. And I think that speaks very highly of the Tourist Board and indeed the many community organisations we work with. I mean, obviously in terms of tourism, but what we are trying to do is attract more and more visitors from uh, all over the world. And I think the fact that in the course of this weekend, so many people are going to see the beauty of the countryside, the landscape, the friendliness of the people, it will all act as a great encourager for people to come here and spend their holidays. Of course, of course, we're here to win! <laughs> Colombia! Brilliant coastal sceneries in the north coast. 
I feel it's beautiful. It's a little bit cold, but it's very beautiful. And people are really nice and lovely, which is always nice. It's, people are extremely welcoming, so it's amazing. Well, I will talk to everyone to come to Northern Ireland. It's beautiful, it's amazing, and there's so many things to see. Our experience here in Northern Ireland has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have done these kind of things all over the world. The RCS people have, are the tops of the game and everybody has just been blown away. Northern Ireland, Belfast, the citizens and, and the communities and stuff have exceeded all of our expectations as to what to expect when the Giro comes here. I think it was a great, great decision to bring it here and the effort they have done, I was very impressed. I have participated at the dinner in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Belfast, the opening dinner, and I heard your first minister and deputy minister. I was very impressed by these people, by their vision and the passion for their sport. And of course, they're proud of their country and they're right to be proud. It's incredible like it's not something I ever thought I'd uh, get the chance to take part in you know like I started cycling in 98 when I watched the tour start here and then Dublin so so yeah it's an incredible feeling. Yeah well it's been a real team effort I have to say across Northern Ireland and NITB have been really proud to play their part but we have to say thank you to everybody involved but do you know what it's been two years in the making it's been an amazing three days but let's actually let's set our sights even higher than this this is the largest thing northern ireland has done on this scale but let's go higher and better because we've proved we can do it <laughs>